Hey guys, we have touched down in Lisbon. Here's a quick itinerary of what we did during our three day stay. We stayed at the Lisboa Pessoa Hotel. It is an intimate urban retreat in Quiado. The hotel is equipped with a restaurant, spa, fitness center, and parking. Our room was the Lisbon View Double Room, which had a terrace overlooking the city. The hotel has a privileged central location with many attractions within walking distance. The Carmo Covenant is basically next door. We started exploring the Bayaxa district at the Praca dos Restauradores. We stopped for a glass of Chinginia, a sweet cherry liquor, at the Ajinginia bar. Right next door is St. Dominic's Church, which has survived two major earthquakes and a fire. Next, we headed over to Rocio Plaza, also known as the heart of Lisbon. There are wavy patterned cobblestones, grand statues, and fountains. We continued down Rua Augusta, a prominent avenue lined with elegant buildings, restaurants, and shops. We were able to make use of our Lisboa card and see the views on top of the Rua Augusta arch. We concluded at the Praca do Comercio, the traditional trading and commercial center of Lisbon. For dinner, we headed over to a city hotspot called Scene. It is located on the ninth floor of the Tivoli Avenida Libertad. We had panoramic views of the city during sunset. Afterwards, we got a drink at Deli Bar at Gina Sequa. We highly recommend getting a pinky. We started day two with an extraordinary breakfast buffet at the hotel's rooftop restaurant, Mensagem. And guys, mimosas included. We started exploring Alfama at the St. Anthony Church, which is the birthplace of the Portuguese saint. We had a light midday lunch at Bifana do Alfonso. We split a Bifana, which is a traditional Portuguese pork sandwich. The sandwiches are very affordable. They only accept cash payment. To burn off some calories, we decided to climb the steep maze of narrow cobblestone streets. We intersected Tram 28 at the Portas do Sol, which could have made the journey much easier. At night, we headed to Barrio Alto. We had dinner at Lumi, a rooftop terrace in the Lumiares Hotel. They offered a contemporary menu, and we savored a few evening cocktails before heading out in town. We checked out a couple bars on Rua do Diario de Noticias. The one featured here is the Old Pharmacy. After breakfast on the third day, we drove down to Belém. We were able to easily find a parking spot at the Jardim de Praca do Imperio. We also visited the Monument of Discoveries. For an admission fee, you can go to the top to see views overlooking the Tagus River. Next, we went to Bellum Tower. Unfortunately, the tower was closed for visitors. One thing you cannot miss while in Lisbon is the Geronimos Monastery.
We made a quick stop at Pastes de Belen. The bakery is huge and there's various options to sit and enjoy a coffee and pastry. Before heading back to Lisbon proper, we crossed the 25th of April bridge to the Sanctuary of Cristo Rey. For around six euro, you can climb to the top and enjoy views of Lisbon. After dropping the car off at the hotel and freshening up a bit, we went to Caix de Sodre to have a few drinks on Rua Nova do Carvalho, also known as Pink Street. For dinner, we headed back to Quiado and ate at Alma by Enrique Zapesoa. This is a sophisticated gastronomic experience and it is highly recommended to explore the tasting menu. Everyone knows about Pink Street, but did you know that Lisbon had a blue street? On Rua Nova da Trinidad, a drink at mini bar in the Aviles neighborhood. We hope you enjoyed our trip to Lisbon as much as we did. Please join us as we take off on the remainder of our road trip in Portugal. And don't forget to ring that bell.